Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post three videos a week. Today's video is going to be a three-day foundation wear test on the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. This has been out for about a year now, um, but a lot of people really liked it when it came out. I've seen a lot of people still using it, so I've been wondering, what's it like? If you are new to my channel, you may not know about my three-day foundation wear test. I typically will do the first impression live with you so we can talk about my first thoughts. Then I will go throughout the day and wear it for three full days doing a about eight to 10 hour wear test each day, trying it different ways to see how it works on my skin. If I can get it to work for my skin, what way I like to wear it best. I do have dry skin if you are new here. Um, but today's video is going to be a little bit different because I did try this. My first impression was in my Sephora haul video. So I will go ahead and link that here if you would like to see my first impression of first time trying this on. So this video is going to be basically a collection of my wear tests and you will get to see my first thoughts and how it wore and if I tried it with anything else, with different primers, with different highlights, with different setting sprays, things like that. This is a very long intro. If that sounds like your kind of content, go ahead and like this video so I know you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get in to this video. Okay, so let's talk about this foundation before we get into the wear test. Let me look it up. Actually, all right, let's see what it says. It says, um, a skin revitalizing foundation that adds a radiant satin finish while hydrating, smoothing, and firming the skin for up to 24 hours. Light coverage, satin finish, liquid formula, best for normal to dry skin. Um, it includes ginseng, camellia, japonica, and mondo grass. I've got the shade R230 here, which is the same shade that I use in their Ultra HD stick foundation, which is why I got this shade because it works for me. I am wearing it today as well, but we will talk about that when we get to the final review at the very end of the video. Right now we are going to look at the wear test. So here is the beginning of day one. The end of day one. The beginning of day two. The end of day two. The beginning of day three. The end of day three. All right, let's talk about my final thoughts on this. I actually really like this. <laughs> I think it looks really nice on the skin. It feels very thin on the skin and very lightweight. It's really good for every day and it does have a pump, by the way, I didn't mention that. Um, 
I haven't noticed any like skincare changes. Like I haven't noticed my skin itself changing, um, but I do really like this. Um, as I mentioned before, I do have kind of a glow on my face because I'm wearing the Auric Glow Lust. And I have it, I do have it like, you know, on top and over my face pretty much. Um, but overall, I would say, let's see, right here, let's look down here. I would not call it satin. Satin to me is something that looks more plump. I don't think this is a very plumping foundation. It's more of like a thin, lightweight, skin-like finish foundation. And I think it is more matte, but it is not dry at all. It doesn't attach to any of my flaky bits. It doesn't accentuate anything. And weirdly, it doesn't break down on my dry skin in any way like some other foundations do. It looks so soft, focus, natural matte on the face. And if you are someone that has dry skin and prefers a matte look, I think this would be a perfect fit for you. If you are someone who used to have oily skin and you're starting to get drier skin, so you really don't like that dewy finish, you really want a matte finish, I think this is gonna be really nice for you. It wears really well for me. One thing I do disagree with is I don't think this is light coverage. I'd say this is a medium coverage. Like I do have these like two healing acnes zits that you can see, but it's overall like killed the redness really softened my face. I can see some freckles and stuff, but I do think it really evens out my skin um, and looks like an, a complete look. You know, it doesn't look like I'm trying to be fresh faced or no makeup makeup. It's definitely got some coverage to it. Um, I'm not surprised at all that I like this foundation because I love the stick foundation, but that one is definitely way dewier way more full coverage whereas this is like a natural everyday thin very lightweight foundation um and i really like it <laughs> i really like it my favorite way to wear it is kind of like this where i put a little i don't like to mix the glow lust i don't really like to mix the glow lust with the foundation because i have found that that does sometimes lessen the wear time of a foundation especially if you're going to be wearing a mask i think just having all that hydration that breathing <laughs> underneath your mask can make it your makeup break up a little bit easier um, but I think it lasts really well underneath the mask and then putting a little bit of the glow lust as a highlighter afterwards really gives you that nice plump juiciness that I like to see on my skin. But yeah, those are my final thoughts on this foundation. If you have tried this, let me know down below. What do you think of it? What foundation would you like to see me do a three day foundation wear test on now? Do you prefer when I do high end? Or would you like me to do more drugstore ones? I can never decide like which one would be more beneficial to you. So let me know down below. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.